piston is on now, so we can take this paper towel off. There won't be any little parts right now to uh, fall into the engine. Alright, I already put the uh, base gasket on, and there is some just. I had some question about whether you should put anything on it or you just put it down dry or whatever. I looked around the internet. Um, I only found one discussion. The mechanic put grease on it. He said that helps the swelling process and um, it also holds these gaskets in place while you're working with them. And thirdly, when you, if you ever have to take it apart again, the gaskets will be easier to take off. So I, I went for that argument. Hopefully I'm right. Um, over here, you, you're going to put one of those rubber gaskets on now. Okay, the uh, Timing chain uh, sprocket has a flat side and the other side is not flat. So you want the flat side here to this side towards the, uh, the camera right now. And this has two holes for the uh, bolts. And next to one of the holes between the hole and the uh, sprocket teeth you see a little O. Well that is a timing mark. So we might as well um, put this timing approximately correct when we start. All right, and we're putting the sprocket on now to um, so it'll be easy to get a hold of and it'll hold this chain up. You want to put the piston at top dead center. And then you're going to put the O where it's up. And um, we're not really timing the valves now, but it'll be close when when it comes time to time it. It'll be either right on or one maybe one gear off. So we'll put it down here to uh, that way we'll be able to get a hold of it easier. Now we're ready to put the cylinder on. Oh, by the way, there's a couple of lining dowels. There's one here and there's another one. It's hidden by the piston right now, but it's over right over here. You know, they're on the right hand side of the engine as you're sitting on the bike. Um, if you took them off, you want to put them back on now. Well, I never did get that cylinder on. I couldn't get it past the oil ring, so I'm going to try another approach. I took the cylinder and piston back off and um, I put the uh, piston into the cylinder at the workbench. So I'm going to try to put it on this way and uh, see if I have any better luck. The, uh, the wrist pin in now and I need to put that clip in to hold it. Okay, it's in. Looks like I got it this time. Take the rags out.
No, oh, I might want to go down. Okay, now we're ready for the cam chain roller. This consists of three pieces. The actual roller itself, there's, looks like a bolt, the end of it's real smooth for the bearing that goes in here. And then there is a, a non-ferrous, real light washer, and I'm assuming that is for, uh, for a seal, to seal the oil from coming out. Okay, let's put that on now. And I can't see that this goes either either way. It seems to be completely symmetrical. Okay, you'll tighten it up with a ten miller ten millimeter bolt, uh, ten millimeter wrench, and you will. Uh, Torque it to uh, six to ten foot pounds. Okay, there's a oil seal that goes over this um, cylinder head stud and over the uh, locating dowel. And it's important to put this on because. This one is under pressure. There's oil that runs up along the side of the uh, the stud into the head, and it oils the um, the rocker arms. There's also a locating dowel on the um, on the stud that's kitty corner from this one. So if you took it off, you want to put that one back on. There's a rubber gasket here. We can put this on where the cha cam chain goes through. Okay. Um, cylinder head gasket. It's a copper gasket. It only goes one way. There's three large cutouts, and they will go along the side of these of, of these three. Um, cylinder head studs. If you try to put it in this way, this one here won't line up. So you really can't go wrong there. There's another little cutout that doesn't seem to be used for anything. Okay, now we're ready to put the, uh, the cylinder head on. Just fits past the frame. Okay, that's down. Next, we'll put the uh, the valve cover on, the gasket, and the valve cover on. It only goes one way because these cylinder head studs are offset. Okay, now you're going to find four nuts and four washers that you took off, and you notice one of the nuts is one of the nuts is different. This one here, and there's a copper washer, so you have to put them back on the same studs that you took them off from, and. 
you remember which one that was, right? Well, actually, I don't, but um, it makes sense that the copper is probably for, it's a little softer, it's probably for sealing, for oil sealing. And I would probably put it on here because this is the one that has oil in it. And I cheated and looked at one of my other 110s, and this round nut was on this one here, too. So you put the other ones on, and then you tighten them up kitty corner equally so you don't warp anything. And then you will torque them down to um, 13 to 15 foot pounds.